tonight's win over the Saints? Well, it was a great win for us, and good to get back on the winning side, and especially in the SEC. And played a lot of, got a chance to play a lot of players, some that uh, Nia and, and Jasmine Phillips, who had gotten a lot of playing time. So I thought they did some, we did some good things with them there, and, and we just got to build on it. Get ready for Missouri on Sunday. What made you decide on Kaniko in the starting lineup instead of Jasmine to fill his bell spot and offset workout? Well, that's a great question. I, I think Jasmine was a little bit more comfortable with come, she likes to come off the bench, and we she and I talked about it, and I talked to Kamiko as well, and just came to the conclusion that it, it would be it'd be good to get Kamiko to start. She has 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 had experience, and, and Jasmine wanted she likes to sit and watch and see how the game progresses, and then come in. So. Uh, Kamiko went 13, 10, 6, and 6. You're pretty happy with the decision to start? It's a great game. Uh, it's one of her best games since she's been here, and, and that's our expectation for her. Um, six deals was huge, and then her assist and, and rebounding, she was at the point a lot. So, I, yeah, she's got to, she needs to put those numbers up every night for us to, to maintain our and be consistent. Holly, what you think now, once the verdict is 100%, would, would that be your combination while it is he's out? Would you have Burdick and uh, Graves inside? Absolutely, yeah. I, I, we've got to play. Sierra was playing a little bit of the four. Because Sierra, with, you know, with one hand, she had five rebounds. So as she's not going to she's not going to uh, make up for Izzy's presence on the defensive end and, and her power around the basket. Sierra is really creative on how to score and is a great passer. So. We're gonna, we, we need to play her at the four and get her some minutes. Holly, like, can you tell just how Sierra's been just chomping at the bit to get back on the board? Well, that's, she loves the game. And she got hurt playing, working on her game on New Year's Eve. So, yeah, she's been dying to get back in and, and she has been chomping at the bit. And we've kind of, she's, she's done conditioning and stayed in great shape. And Jenny wanted us, the, our, our trainer wanted us to play her limited so I just I just wanted her to get out there. I just told her to be careful with her hand. I just wanted her to get back and, and get into the rhythm and the flow because she's going to have to play big for us. Holly, my she most important stat for, for Williams when you look at all that she did. What do you, I mean, going forward, what's I mean, is, the, is it the boards? Is it the, the assists? Well, me, I think it's her. I think it's steals for her. I just she has a she has a great presence on the defensive end, and she can be one of our. Our best defensive players. And so I, I just, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy for her with 13 rebounds. You know, Dan, I don't know, I, everything, six assists. I mean, she just had a complete game. And when she played, and she played, let me back up. Probably her playing 32 minutes was a huge step. <laughs> her, her maintaining and and, and uh, her conditioning and. So I think her playing 32 minutes is huge for us. Mike, you have to do more situational coaching now with Izzy out as to when you weren't near more in with her maybe shot blocking defense, Absolutely. Bernie Williams. I think we're going to, I think, um, John, we're going to have to be real strategic. I'm going to have to be real strategic in what, off, what defense we play. I don't think, and I don't think we can play in the style that we want to play for 40 minutes. We're going to have to throw in some zone press a little bit and I'm going to have to, to today I use some timeouts just to get us some rest and that's what I'm going to have to do to figure out where I can get timeouts in and still have some for the end of the game but I think it's strategic for me to get our players to play the level we want to play but find them some way to get a little rest so we're, we're going to have to mix it up most definitely. Holly, the last time you played a, had a disappointing loss, you played so flat in the next game. You didn't do that this game. Is that a maturing point for this team right now? I, I, absolutely. We talked about it. We, ad we addressed that. Uh, after, uh, obviously, I'm disappointed with the Notre Dame game, but we really wanted them to focus in on it's the SEC is the most important thing right now, and, and Mississippi State was the most important win for us and how we played and how we were going to come out and how – how we were going to bounce back from from the loss. So I I thought for the most part we played solid. We had you know, playing people in and out and, and putting uh, some people who hadn't played at times. We, we tried to play zone and our zone wasn't very good. We'll go back and work on that. But I, I was overall very 
very pleased with our effort. And I mean, we just uh, got the win. And I think Tabor Spade played a great game. So we just got to keep building on what we're doing. Is there any chance, Holly, that Izzy won't be back this year? Or do you feel pretty confident at some point? You know, John, I don't, I, honestly, I, I don't, I hope she is back. But I think until they, they go and, and figure out what's going on with her knee, I, I, I don't, I don't know, like that. I guess it's 50-50. That's me guessing. But I'd love to have her back. I'd love to have her. But not at the expense that it's going to, to hurt her down the road and, and to her future. So we, we just have to, it's kind of a, a waiting game right now. You also had a huge halftime lead, but you didn't start a slow second half. You came right out of the gate. You had to be happy to see that, too. Well, we, we really emphasize not playing the scoreboard. We've got to get better. And I, I talked about us in, in Notre Dame having laws, and, and we just can't. We gotta, we've got to make sure we maintain our intensity, how we're playing, and, and, and just continue. Whatever the score is, we're behind, we're ahead, we got to keep getting better and focusing on us. And so when we focus on us and understand the importance of, of how hard we're playing, the, the, the game takes care of itself. All right, folks, thank you. All right, thank you all.